do that. Okay, it seems like we're live now. Okay, so, okay, hold on. My computer's a little bit laggy. Okay, so it seems like we're live now. Oh, we have 11 people watching now. Okay, that's a lot of people. <laughs> okay, um, wow, <laughs> Mia. Hi, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> I sent her a voice message. A voice message just now, like Mia, I love you. You need to join today's episode. <laughs> and what did she say? She said, "No, I don't love you." <laughs> oh, hi Mia, long time no see. How hey. are you? Can I go say hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does she sound like? Is she uh, gonna force. Be sure. she did. <laughs> the past three episodes. <laughs> okay. Um. So, thank you once again for joining us today. And then, shall I pass it to Rauda to explain the best plate on two devices? Okay. So very briefly, um, I will explain again later on as well. Um. So the game is best played on two devices. Um, you have one uh, for watching YouTube live because uh, that's where you will see, you will hear us commentating and you will also see the leaderboard. So you won't see that when you are playing on your mobile phone, uh, but you will see it on YouTube live. So have one device, have one uh, desktop or laptop for watching YouTube and have uh, your mobile to actually play the quiz. But if you are playing maybe with as a family or more than one person, you can all share one uh, desktop or smart TV or whatever uh, for YouTube Live. You can all watch it together and, st and still play on your individual mobile phones. But sometimes, you know, we don't want to share the price, right? So you can do that. Or if you don't have two devices, you can always opt for split screen if you have it on your mobile. Although I think uh, if you want to play split screen, it's a lot better to play on your laptop slash desktop. And a few things to keep in mind is to disable auto lock on your phone because uh, there will be a slight lag on the questions that are going to be shown on YouTube. So always have your eyes on your phone. So, yeah, that's it. I will repeat the instructions again. Yeah. Before we start. All right. So, um, how's everyone? Today, Rada um, did her puasa num. So, <laughs> her optional six days of puasa. Fasting. Yes. Okay, fasting. No, I'm on it? day number four. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, I'm almost there, um, but I think I'm going to take a uh, leave this weekend and continue <laughs> next week. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So what you see now is the Halal Travel Podcast. So we have just released our third episode. By far my favorite episode, eh? Just putting it out there. <laughs> I mean, what, what do you think? I think it was my favorite episode. Episode. This is the episode that we talk about. <laughs> you don't remember. Uh, <laughs> we also talk about remember. travel. Yes. Yeah. Our, uh, if we had all the money in the world, travel destination. Yeah. Yes. This is the episode that I found out that my dream destination is actually Sphinx Terror. Previously, I didn't know. I just like described like, uh, how it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like. Syntax. Something else. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. It's a nice place. I think you should all check it out. C I N Q U E T E R R E. And then uh, for Nurul, she wants to go to New Zealand. 
Yes, that's my on my bucket list. My ultimate dream destination that I want to travel to. Yeah, she wants Is anyone she- from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> From Pasir Ris, got ah. <laughs> oh, okay. So when you enter menti dot com, key in the code six two three three five four, and then just let us know where you're from. There is somebody who's from New Zealand. Hi. Is it real? Yeah. Is it you, Nurul? Oh no 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 no! I haven't yeah. even. <laughs> <laughs> whoa whoa whoa! It's serious ah. Huh? Okay, cool. Honestly, let me just go in. All right. So for those just join, just go to menti dot com and you can use the code six two three three five four, and then you will see like a field for you to enter where you are from. So. My room. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Which part of the house are you guys at? I'm at my dining table. I'm in my room. Is I that am. your answer? Hmm? Nurul? Oh, me? I am in my mother's room. Because <laughs> that's the only place that is quiet. Hijack. Quite- yeah, and then actually, right? I have a post-it note saying "recording in progress" outside her door, so she Whoa. doesn't. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but sometimes you know, I'll just have my cat, um, meowing outside. So, yeah, she can't read it. You actually have a sign too. No, I don't. I don't bother anymore. <laughs> Oh, Sabila! Sabila is saying, "Can you guys say hi to her nephews playing the trivia?" trivia? Hi, Rafiq, and hi, Hazik. Hi. Shout How out, old are they? Sabila. Hi. Hi, Yahya. Hi, Yahya. Where are you from? Are you from New Zealand? I'm excited too. <laughs> <laughs> so this this actually marks our third episode, yeah? yeah. So there are some people who have been here since episode one. If you guys have been here, you would be familiar with the rules of the game. But let me just repeat it again, just in case. Anyway, we all. It's a reminder is good. So how to play? So it's that like I said, it's best played on two devices: one for watching the quiz on YouTube Live and one for playing the quiz on Mentimeter. But if you're playing as a group, you can all share one device for viewing YouTube, or if you only have one device, you can opt for split screen on your laptop or on your mobile. Although laptop is recommended. So the game is fastest fingers first. There are twenty questions in total. The faster you answer the question, the more points you receive. So if you know the answer, go for it. And at the end of uh, at the end of uh, each question, a leaderboard will appear on YouTube. You will see on your Mentimeter wh- where you rank, but on YouTube you will see the top ten ranking. And if you are the winner, take a screenshot of the results page, which will say you are the winner. <laughs> and send it to us on WhatsApp at that number. Don't worry, we'll show the number again. So, uh, bear in mind to screenshot your Mentimeter page, which will look like this, and not the YouTube page. Uh, and then you can email it to us, or you can WhatsApp to us. So another reminder to disable auto lock on your phone, so that your phone won't go into screensaver mode and you won't lose points. Uh, uh, wasting time. Okay. So now you'll be prompted to enter your name, and we wait for players. Oh wow! Oh, so I'm gonna give you guys a hint, okay? So if you have played before, you would know that um, I I I put together the questions. I'm the game master. That's why I have this very fancy background. But uh, so Hazira and Nurul are playing it for the first time with all of you. So this time, the questions 
Um, there are a few more open answer questions. So by open answer, you would have to type your answers. So I give you the hint, okay? So be on your toes. Oh no. <laughs> Don't use autocorrect eh, please eh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you, there are two kinds. There's MCQ questions. Uh, and there is also open answer where you actually have to type your answer. So make sure your spelling is correct. Um, and make sure you answer fast. So you have 20 seconds to answer each question. We will start with a few, I would say, sim simple questions. I mean, yeah. they're all pretty simple. You're right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, which animal does cashmere come oh, from? No. Which animal? You know, in my, I was thinking of silk. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, time's up. Ooh, the answer is goats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Sabar. Like, I know. Answer, you, <laughs> you need to be patient. Yes. So, the fun only fact three of us knew that it's goats. <laughs> So it takes four goats to produce enough hair to make one sweater. Uh, so that's a lot of goats. So there is actually a lot of sustainable issues now regarding cashmere. A lot of brands are kind of looking into not selling cashmere. Uh, but I think it's interesting how how much how much cashmere how much how many goats it takes to actually create one piece of clothing. All right. Do you see my name up there? <laughs> it's okay, guys. Don't worry because the faster you are, uh, the more likely you're gonna get at the top. All right. All right. Azria won last week, but of course she didn't claim. She can't claim the prize. <laughs> Question number two: The word hotel originated from which? Language. I have a good feeling about this. Hotel. Hotel. It's L'hotel. <laughs> come on, come on. Mm. Yes. Indeed, French. 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 It is correct. Je parle you... français. <laughs> no, you get this right. No, that's why I'm silent because I'm <laughs> by myself. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're starting to see some numbers now. Ooh, Z is number one. It's me is fastest though. All right, we have famous Reina and Riskin Putri in the top 10. Just keep going at it. So one thing we have learned, guys, is just even though maybe you might be answering the first few characters, questions wrong there's always time to catch up there's 20 questions just hang in there keep going and you might win it has happened before yes. question number three the komodo dragon is native to which country i have another good feeling about this <laughs> Don't they teach you? Don't you learn this in like secondary school or primary school? I think so. I think there's an island specific to this type of animal. Mm, correct though. All right. The answer is Indonesia. I'm not doing well, guys. <laughs> it's okay. We can't avoid right. this. <laughs> yes. That's a fun fact. So Komodo dragons are actually the largest living lizards in the world. And the name actually came from a rumor. So previously, the island Komodo had sailors and uh, because of its dragon-like appearance. So that's why it was called Komodo dragon. You know, I didn't know that you can add emoji as the name that you're playing as. See the butterfly? So cool. Oh. Oh yeah, I didn't realize it. Oh. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so Z is still number one. Ooh, I see Yahya there. I am my is also there. All right, keep going, you did Gambit, Sarah, and Mariam. Okay, the next question is an open answer question. <laughs> All right. What is a 12th letter word meaning having the ability of using both hands with equal skill? Or oh my god, I don't know. You, you know this question, but it's Kanye. just. A... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I know. I think I know. You know. Just make sure the spelling is correct. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get this wrong for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Mm. You don't have to tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> The correct answer is ambidextrous. Wow. All right. Oh, that person ha almost had it right. It was just spelling error. Kanye? Oh, yeah. What? Okay, funny. Okay, not funny story, but I guess a story that... Because I watched Keeping Up the Kardashians, right? So Kanye was actually um, left-handed, but his mom also taught him to become right-handed. So now he can write with two hands. <laughs> Do you so know he's that? ambidextrous. Yes. That's how he is ambidextrous. <laughs> ambidextrous, correct. All right. Mountain is fastest. I think it's the first time we're seeing that name on the leaderboard. Yeah. All right. Mariam is slowly climbing. I am Mai is also slowly climbing. Just keep at it, guys. The next question is also an open answer question. I think kids will know this. Oh, what no. is the name of Walt Disney's <laughs> famous animated deer? I'm stressing out. <laughs> it's like Damn you know it. this, but then the time is like rushing you. I'll give you a okay. hint. It's what you would call a baby deer. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call a baby deer? Yeah. <laughs> All right, the answer is Bambi. Bambi? Bambi. 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 <laughs> In case you are wondering how Bambi looks like. Brings memories. Good I memories. Cutie. I've never watched this Bambi show when I was Neither young. have I. You should. It's like all all all, all Disney movies, not animated movies, are huh? always good. All right. Oh, Z is actually steadily on top. Yeah, impressive. Hazira, don't need to say. Hazira, second place. Excuse me. <laughs> but the butterfly is also like steadily in third place. Mariam is slowly climbing. Impressive. It's me. It's fastest again. Wow. Um, yeah, everyone's kind of like shuffling about. Okay, next question is MCQ. Don't worry, guys. Relax. Several species of octopus have red blood, while other, other species of octopus have what color blood? If you cook, you will know. Octopus, yeah? Not squid? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Blue? Is it? Blue. Yes. What? So it's really interesting. So fun fact. There you go. This is a very, uh, this is an explanation behind why it's blue and not red for some octopus. I mean, octopus have like three hearts. So they Ooh. need a lot of oxygen to pump in. So that's why some of them have blue blood. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> now you can see Hazira spiraling down. <laughs> oh I my! Know. Is it my face? <laughs> it's this is the beginning. Say bye to my second place. <laughs> the next question, she will be gone. <laughs> I think I'm seeing no. I am unicorn for the first time. Yeah, guess who? Is that you? Me. <laughs> Why a unicorn? Because my avatar is a unicorn. Oh. 
But I know. All I right. Know. So this is a part, a screenshot of part of the of a landmark. So name name this landmark. It's an open answer question. Make sure oh. your spelling is right. Must we put like just put the first name ah? Uh? Just yeah. put the name of the building. Yeah. Okay. okay. The name of this landmark. Let's okay. go. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hurry up! <laughs> Ah! Okay, two point eight four six seconds. Oh, fast. Spelling wrong, ah. Eh? <laughs> we'll see how many got it right. It's just a lot of questions that um. Eh, Salah. <laughs> what did you put? Lurv. Yeah, spelling is wrong. L O U R V E. It's L O U V R E. Louvre. Oh my god. Yours is like like you know like L O V E. That's what it sounds like. No, it's Lurv. Oh man. Lerve. Yeah, you have to remember it's uh French and not English. <laughs> All right, so it is the Louvre. If you answered the Louvre, it is also correct. Okay, a few other variations as well. So the so we'll see who's on the leaderboard, and the next question is also a similar image question, which you have to answer in an open answer format. Oh, Mariam is second place now. Blue Potato is third. Nice. Haha, <laughs> Zira is. I don't know what number, but low. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I see Rian. Rian, Rian is the first one. Hey, Hi, Rian. As well. All right, guys, keep going. We are at question number eight now. Okay, come on. So, name this landmark. I think it's slightly hard because it's quite, it looks like a normal building. You know it, you know it. It's a rocket. <laughs> Okay, just let me type faster. Type faster and spell correctly. Oh no, with a H or no H? With a Z or no Z? Oh no, don't. Oh no, it's not working. <laughs> okay, hopefully I got it correct. Oh my god, it took me 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, question no. mark, question mark. <laughs> uh, answer is Burj Khalifa. Uh, what do you put? Burj Khalifa, the H. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is how it looks like. It is indeed the Burj Khalifa. Yeah, my defense, all my Islamic textbooks had the H at the back, okay? Khalifa. Yeah, but not in reference to this building, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh no, I'm off the leaderboard. Alright. Okay, so Marm is number two. Nice. We have Riyadh. Oh, that's, a, that's number one. I mean, that's the first. That's the first, right? In top <laughs> yeah. ten. All right. Ooh. Next question. Let's see if you actually paid attention in class, in math class. What shape has four equal sides but no right angles? I made it easy for you guys, okay? I give you MCQ. Actually, I answered it wrongly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you know? Correct. Huh? How do you know it's wrong? Because I see the shape in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Answer is rhombus. So there will, I'm going to show you like a diagram. Let's have a, a five second math class here. So you understand what I mean. So a kite uh, has four sides, but they are not all equal. Square has four equal sides, but has right angles. Parallelogram has four sides, but they're not all equal. So the answer is rhombus. Let's see. Let's see who, 
who excelled at that question. This is just disappointing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Mariam is number one. Just keep going at it. All right. All right. So don't worry, Ted, Gambit. We have, we are at question number 10. So we are halfway through. Just keep going. You yes. will have the opportunity to catch up. Yes, oh and don't forget the price is a US dollar 50, US 50 dollar online voucher. voucher. So if you are in Singapore, it's 70 dollars. Crazy, it's not. That's that's a lot. Like if like you can get a grab food voucher, that's 70 dollars worth of grab food, mm -hmm. which means you can order all the delivery that you want. Yes, for two days maybe. <laughs> All right, so the answer is Yugoslavia. This was something I found really interesting when I was doing. So fun fact, so up to 1991, six republics made up Yugoslavia. So the countries now are Bosnia and Herzegovina, <laughs> Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia, which are now our uh, countries on their own. Mm -hmm. You found this out from the time when you travel around those areas, is it? No. <laughs> she just went with the group. She, just, <laughs> she no, like I, <laughs> like I knew like they were used to be Yugoslavia, but like I didn't know like Belgrade was a Belgrade Belgrade was the capital. But you know what? I think that that group of countries they actually have a lot of history. Oh, it's really up and coming. It's really nice. Yeah, you know, very underrated as well. So Z actually caught up. Nice. Back to first place. And we have Sarah climbing up, Blue Potato, Rian also steadily climbing. It's me, Butterfly, Gambit, and Ted. Hang in there. Keep going. Question number 11. So it's a movie question. What is grossing film? Highest grossing film of all time. Mm. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> Avatar. Basically, basically, I think which one did the the best at the theaters, lah, okay? <laughs> Avatar yeah. had a lot of control. Man, I got the wrong answer. Yes, it's Avengers. The latest, the, the last Avenger movie to be specific. The end game, right? Yes. I haven't watched it, though. Surprising, right? Oh, mm. you should watch it. You know, there's this scene that's always so popular on Twitter that you'll see. The one that's like this, like this, and everybody starts coming in. Yeah, and I, I got goosebumps at that scene. I woke up at that scene. <laughs> oh, I see Ilhan for the first time. Yeah, Ilhan. Go, oh, go, Ilhan. Ilhan is a familiar name in part of past uh, trivia as well. We are rooting yeah. for Ilhan to win. Uh, go, Ilhan. Go. Get that oh. new pants. <laughs> yeah. You need the pants, bro. Go, go. Okay, we are on to question number 12, which is also slightly movie related, but more of a. I guess I, I, I think he comes out a lot in my question. What? Oh, oh no! How many Oscars has Leonardo DiCaprio won to date? Crap, oh crap. I think I got it wrong. So Oscars, Academy Awards. <gasps> okay. okay. I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even bother Hazira. trying anymore. <laughs> don't, Hazira, don't give up. I'm stressed. <laughs> so fun fact, Leonardo DiCaprio was nominated six times since 1994 before finally winning Best Actor in 2016 for The Revenant. So I think everyone was rooting for him to win. Yeah, right? I remember that Oscars. Yeah, there were so many memes going around. <laughs> All right. Oh no, Ilhan is no longer on the list. <laughs> yes, I've overtaken him. Yes, this unicorn took over Ilhan. 
It's okay. Osara is the fastest. Blue potato is now second. Good job. I feel like as a first place, you kind of feel the stress of having to maintain your lead. Next question is an open answer. So I think I think if there are any kids playing, they would know. Oh, what kind of I? flower was enchanted and dying in the movie Beauty and the Beast? So when it must type because I it's easy. That's why I opted for open answer. <laughs> I'm just gonna anyhow bomb. So what leave. type of flower? What type of flower? Tulip, trust me, it's tulips. Yeah. A flower. <laughs> somebody yeah. actually, did somebody actually put the science name of rose? <laughs> Portucula oleric. Is that Whoa. it? Whoa. I don't know oh, whether that's real or not. <laughs> <laughs> but the answer is rose. So if you answer rose or a rose, so it sad, is no, that correct. Person, that, that person who spelled ro, <laughs> ro w e. <laughs> So close. All right, Sarah is fastest again. Nice. I am unicorn. Oh, I know who that is. So Ted is back into top ten. Go, go Ted. Go, go, go Rian. And go I am I. We are rooting for you guys. All right. Next question is a music question. It's only one music question. I thought I'll try and edit in this in this quiz. And I tried to choose the most popular song. <laughs> Your uh, most popular is not popular to me. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how do you sing this song. I walk, <laughs> I walk on this. <laughs> I walk this street. Oh, okay, I know. I walk this empty street on the boulevard. On the yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Can you pay attention to the actual da, options da, da, that I put? I'm, I'm very I'm very proud of uh, the variations that are there. Boulevard of Boring Dreams and Boulevard of Paper Rims. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boulevard of Boring Dreams. So sad. Ooh, wow. Z is doing good. Um... Maria, Maria is there, and Gambit is steadily there. Rian, and it's me. It's me. It's fastest for for many questions. I, you yeah. have the chance to climb. So I'm just looking at the chat, and I think Maria is the one who typed R O W E because she said typo. <laughs> I feel your pain. So this is an open answer, guys. Open answer. Which country considers itself European, even though its capital is in Asia? Is this where you studied at? Uh, I feel like if I, if I say anything, I'm giving you hints. It's three letters. Huh? Three letters? Eight, three letters, six letters. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can Rio? You mean Rio? <laughs> My All bad. Right. Answer is Turkey. Yes, so Turkey is strategi strategically positioned um, in Asia and Europe. Half of it is in Europe, half of it is Asia. Yep. Oh, That's a lot of people got it right. Okay, I'm seeing a new name, guys. Yep. I don't know Ooh. how to pronounce. Wikni. Wikni. Oh, it's like weak knee. I'm weak in the knee. Oh yeah. Right. It's a lot of thought put in. <laughs> so you know the dodo bird, right? So it's an extinct flightless bird. <coughs> Which country was it native to? Mauritius is the answer. Do you guys get it right? No. <laughs> Finish it for. I want to know. 
What other animals are extinct? Dinosaurs. No. Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the limit Bang. of our knowledge. <laughs> All right, it's me. It's fastest again. Um, with me, wow, well, I'm very impressed that it's in the top ten. You got, you still have the, you still have chance. We are going to episode number seventeen, actually. So, episode seventeen, question number seventeen. It's an Islamic question. So okay, okay. All okay, questions okay. are Islamic questions. So, which surah in the Quran is called the heart of the Quran? You know what you should do, Rada. Next time we have discussion. Okay, hold on. Let me see how many purpose. Got it correct. All right, I think people got it right. Yeah. Should have like different, different. Ways of spelling it and see which is correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will work. Different countries spell different things differently. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Make it Arabic. <laughs> Unless you have it in Arabic. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm going to be spending more time doing the questions <laughs> if I were to do that. <laughs> So, oh, Sarah is the fastest. Okay, it's me, Gambit. I am my weakness slowly climbing. Mariam, also, okay, you can still have time. Uh, the next question Do you know your calendar? Nope. <laughs> Which is the fifth month in the Hijri calendar? Okay. I have a song for this. I don't know if you know. No. no. Muharram Safar Rabi'ul Awal Rabi'ul Thani Yeah, you see the title It goes Oh, okay That's that's handy I feel like you're singing a lot this episode Oh, yeah Oh, man You're welcome <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 14 people got it right Yay Yes Let's see the leaderboard Who got the fastest? Who, who, who? Blue Potato took over Z. Bye, Whitney. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, Whitney no. Can do it. Come on, you can still do it. Blue Potato is the fastest, and um, Mariam. I am I, Rian, Sarah Z. You guys can still catch up, man. Really, you never know. Yeah. Don't give up, guys. Come on. Don't Let's do this. We are question number 19. You know? <laughs> Don't 19. Give Second last question. Mm? Yes. How many years old when she married Prophet Muhammad? Peace be Hello. Him. I answered wrongly. It's funny them. how you know immediately that you answer wrongly. <laughs> because, because I follow my my gut instead of my mind. And actually, my gut is correct. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, yeah, Zante is 40 years old. Although there is a small set of co- scholars who believe that she was 28 years old. Oh, that's far. Yeah, it's it's different, but Interesting, yeah. <laughs> yes. So we are. Oh, Hajar, you're back on number ten. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> you are anyway. Wow. Oh wow! I didn't know. Anyway, so blue potato is number one. Z is number two. Will we see a turnaround like we did on the first episode with Ardila? Alright, blue Interesting <laughs> twist of events. But we are on to the last question. The last question is an open answer question. Okay. okay? Get ready. Get also ready. An, an Islamic history question. My thumbs are ready. <laughs> oh, right. Mm. 
Oh, on sh- the night journey, what is the name oh. of the creature that carried Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? I'm guessing this is the correct spelling. <laughs> I have put four variations of the answer. Four spelling variations. Okay. So I feel like if you have an extra A or extra something. <laughs> I still got it wrong. <laughs> okay. Correct answer is rock. I yeah, forgot you know. it's there. Uh, I see a set smiley there. Angel! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Funny Peg- answers, are you guys? <laughs> Pegasus? Wow. We're going to see who is the winner. Who shall prevail as the winner of episode 3? Drum roll, please. Is this the last question? Yes, it's the last question. Oh. Oh, can't take my Ooh. Ooh, blue potato. Wait, oh. blue potato. Congratulations! Oh. Yay! Oh. Who is blue potato? Comment in the chat box. Yeah, let us know who you are. Are you f- are you the one from New Zealand? Ooh, Nazir told me that she loves my singing. Thank you. She's just being nice. <laughs> Out. <laughs> All right, Blue Potato, take a screenshot of your Menti page that shows that you are the winner and you can WhatsApp it to us at this number that you will see on the next screen. So WhatsApp it to us at plus six five nine seven two nine four six three eight. Or if you don't have WhatsApp, you can send it to us via email at info at hologic.com. <clears throat> yes. Congratulations, Blue Potato. Yay. Actually, I'm quite happy that I'm in the 10th place. Lah. Not asking for much, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so at least top 10 also. Yes, uh, top 10. Uh, <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us in our third episode. If you enjoyed the game, please. um invite your friends for the next one episode 4 which is next two weeks so when is it so we're gonna we're gonna show the date on the screen mm-hmm. um we'll see you next on 26 june at the same time and same yes. place correct um but that's for now thank you once again for joining don't forget to follow us on our instagram facebook and twitter at halal trip we're also on Telegram, so go follow us on that channel. But for now, stay inspired, stay home, and stay connected. Bye! Say bye! Bye! <laughs> bye!